Welcome back to thewindowdog.com. Today we're going to take a look at fusion welded vinyl window frames. Is this something you should care about as you're shopping for new windows? Now I, I would expect you're asking this question because a window salesman told you all about it. In my experience, people don't just wander around wondering about fusion welded vinyl window frames, but window salesmen do tend to tell all sorts of creative stories, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if you've heard all about them. So for today's video, we're going to take a look at what does it mean when a, when a window is fusion welded? What does that do for you? Is that something you should care about? And I'm also going to tell you a story about one of the shadiest home improvement salespeople I've ever met in my whole life. It's going to be fun. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan Schweiss. I'm the founder of Window Universe. My company offers windows all over the country. I also run a website called thewindowdog.com, which is the greatest source of replacement window information on the entire internet. So for today's question, fusion welded vinyl window frames, we're going to look at a window frame sample here. We'll show you how it's welded, welded together. And we're going to give you a little teaser about our next upcoming video where we have some cool stuff going on. To make sure you don't miss our videos, including the Window Wednesday series that just launched last week, you can hit that subscribe button down below there and you'll be notified whenever we have new stuff coming out. You're going to love it. So for today's video, let's take a look at this window frame. I've got one right here. It's a little bit heavy, but you can see how this frame comes together. Now it's got two pieces of material. They're cut at the plant by a computerized saw and then welded. And you can see this seam here where the two pieces were welded together. So what does that do for you? Do you care about that? Well, you should care about that because it makes the window stronger. It makes it airtight. It makes sure it won't leak. It gets a better air infiltration than, a, than other types of window frames. So sure, it's important. The reason it might not be that big of a deal is because almost every vinyl window out there is going to use that same technology. So it's really not a differentiator between one product and another. Then what does it mean? How does it actually work? How is a, is a vinyl window welded, right? You might think of welding, you think of two pieces of metal, you think of sparks flying everywhere and some big burly guy with a hood on that has to protect him from the fury that's going on fusing these pieces of metal. That's not really how vinyl windows work. They call it welded because it sounds strong and tough, but really it's just heating up these pieces, they get them melty and then they squish them together. Now if they called them melted and squished vinyl windows, that wouldn't have a very sexy ring to it. So they, they call it welded. At the plant, the way it works is those two pieces, the sides of the frame, are cut by that computerized saw to the right length. They're put into a welding machine that holds all four sides at once, and then a hot plate gets put in the corner and the window gets pressed against it. It sits there for a predetermined amount of time, 30 seconds or 45 seconds or whatever it is. Then the machine opens, that hot plate gets removed, and the two pieces of frame get squished together. They're melty and juicy at that point, so when they get squished together, a little excess material shoots out the side, and the, the frame is chemically bonded together. Now they, then that's what they call welded. So the next machine in the plant will clean off that weld to clean off that excess material so it's nice and pretty looking. And now those two pieces of the frame are chemically bonded together. So welded. Now, you might think, why doesn't every window company do it that way? And the answer is, every window company does do it that way. I don't know if you could find a window produced today that's not welded uh, together. And they used to call them welded, welded windows in the old days, meaning both the frame and the sash was welded. But it's been a long time since anybody has made mechanically fastened windows. Now, to tell you a story about one of the most interesting home improvement salespeople I've ever met, it was the only guy I've known that sold hundreds and hundreds of non-welded windows every single month. I worked in Boston years and years ago at a window distribution center. The uh, outside salesperson there took me out on some sales calls and one of the calls we went to was to the largest dealer at that distribution center. He was a bit of a character and on the way over there the rep told me to just kind of keep quiet and not engage because this guy, he just likes to sort of pick on the new kids and you're not going to, just don't engage with him, you don't want to deal with it. And I said, yeah, no problem, you know, I'm just riding along. So uh, we get there and we walk into this guy's office and I almost laughed out loud. He looks like such a home improvement salesperson. He's an older guy, probably in his mid 60s. He's short, he's got a dark tan, even though it's the middle of winter in Boston. He's got his hair slicked back, gold jewelry, shirt unbuttoned, you know, just like, man, watch out for this guy, right? So he owns this company. He's got a phone room in the back with like 25 people who are sitting there on the phone cold calling 
customers trying to sell home improvement sales appointments. You know, they're on the phone trying to sell free quotes to let the, the salesman come over. And the salesman gets over and he would sell you a window. Back then it was called Geneva. For you uh, old guys out there, you might remember. There was a window that all side used to make called Geneva and it had a mechanically fastened frame. So the frame was just screwed together and the sash was welded uh, like we're just talking about. So it was weird to me that this guy was still buying these windows because it was only maybe $5 less per unit on a wholesale basis than the nicer window we offered that was fully welded. So we get in there and uh, me not being too shy about talking to strangers, I ended up piping up and asking him a couple of questions while the outside sales guy is looking at me like, I told you not to talk to this guy. I asked him uh, you know, why he's buying this model versus another one, told him you know, maybe we could get you a good deal on the other model. And uh, he says, no, no, I don't care. I just use this one because it's cheap. I said, that's interesting. Normally the bigger dealers are more focused on quality. That had been my experience. In this case, this guy was a reasonable sized dealer and he's buying this one because it's cheaper. I asked him, what percentage of your business would you say is repeat and referral customers? And normally these home improvement companies know that right away. Sometimes they brag about, oh, it's 98%, which tells you they don't, they're not doing a very good job of bringing new people into the system. So that's kind of a, a warning sign if it's too high. Uh, and if it's on the lower end, you know, you think maybe they could do more marketing to their past customers to keep keep themselves on the minds of their past customers and bring in some more business, and that might be an easy opportunity to uh, grow sales. So I was all ready to be helpful, and this guy says, "My, I don't have repeat and referral sales. It's zero zero percent. Zero percent? What are you talking about? I've never, you know, I've never heard anybody." brag about having zero percent and he laughs and he says well our prices are too high generally between the time people buy the windows and get them installed they realize they overpaid for the windows so they're not like it's not like they're going to tell their sister they should call us and get windows because they know we're a bad deal by that point and i was really kind of thrown off i had never heard anybody uh brag about being such a bad deal like that before but that that was his business model they used the phone room to cold call people they would they would get them to allow, allow that salesperson into their house for a free quote that they would say is guaranteed for a year and then the salesman would get in there and give these people you know the one year price is two thousand dollars a window and the today only price is twelve hundred dollars a window and of course they said it very eloquently and, and after a three-hour sales pitch they would convince some percentage of these people to buy the windows and uh, the people would then be unhappy down the road because they paid too much. And that's exactly why this guy didn't care about paying $5 more per window to get welded frames because it didn't matter to him. These people weren't going to call him back and buy more windows down the road anyway. These people were going to dislike him at the end of the project. So what did it matter if their windows were drafty? In his mind, he didn't care one bit. So that was a really enlightening experience for me. I had never uh, never dealt with a guy like that, but I certainly did many more times after that. And there's really a lot of strange characters in the home improvement business. But to bring it all back to welded windows, the short answer is sure it's important, but it just doesn't matter at all. It's like power windows in a car. It's great that you have them, but it doesn't differentiate one car from another because every car has power windows. I mean, even a Jeep Wrangler has power windows now. So it's just, it's just not a feature worth worrying about. So if a window salesman you met with rattled off the list of features it has you know it's got virgin vinyl and it's got uh, extruded window or screen frames and it's got welded corners and it's got low e coating and blah 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 that's fine you know he wasn't making a huge deal about it but if he told you an hour-long sales pitch about fusion welded corners as a way to differentiate himself from everybody else you know oh, if you go buy those other windows they'll probably be screwed together and they'll be drafty and leak that's just not true he was lying to you and it's probably a sign that you may want to find yourself another window company so hopefully that video helped. If you want, you can check out some helpful links in the description down below. You'll find a link to find my window company and our locations around the country. If we can help you with a quote, we'd be happy to. In a lot of markets, we do free online easy quotes with no salesman at all, so you might find that interesting. If we do not service your area, you may also find a company we recommend in your neck of the woods. So we know a lot of people around the country, and I'd be happy to recommend someone if I know someone to do uh, great service in your area. So you can find that in the description down below as well. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, if you can see it very well, but over my shoulder here, the window dog himself is taking a nap on that couch right there. It's a little dark back there, but that's where he is. I'm gonna see if I can call him. Hey, Frisco, come here. <laughs> Come here, I got bacon. Come on. Good boy, you're gonna be a movie star. You're gonna be a movie star. All right, there's the window dog, folks. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Good boy.